हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इंटरफेसिंग विथ एक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स दैट इज पिक्स सिक्सटीन एफ एट सेवन सेवन स्विच एल ई डी एंड एल सी डी नाउ वी मूव टूवर्ड्स इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले एंड डी सी मोटर विथ पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स सो ये दिस वी कवर्ड इन लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स एल सी डी इंटरफेसिंग डेटा लाइन्स आर एस आर डब्ल्यू एन एबल एंड वी सी सी ग्राउंड लाइक दैट इन कॉन्फिग्रेशन स्टेप्स कोड सो वट टू डेज टॉपिक इज इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले विथ पिक सिक्सटीन एफ एट सेवन सेवन ए माइक्रो कंट्रोलर हियर वेल इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले विद द पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर देर आर टू मोड्स ऑफ इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ एन सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले विथ पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दिस इज फर्स्ट मोड इज हियर कॉमन एनोड एंड सेकेंड मोड इज कॉमन कैथोड इन केस ऑफ एनोड एंड कैथोड एज अ नेम इट्स अ कॉमन वन टर्मिनल दैट इज एनोड इफ वी कनेक्टेड कॉमनली ऑफ दल सेगमेंट्स कनेक्टेड और एसोसिएटेड विथ एस डिजिट दैट इज सेवन सेगमेंट डिजिट इन दैट केस द टर्म नॉमिनेटेड एज कॉमन एनोड एंड इन केस ऑफ कॉमन एनोड हियर वी नीड टू अप्लाई a five volt supply commonly and for activation of each an individual segment of a seven segment digit we have to connect that uh, segments another part that is cathode part to the controller's io pin and according to that we have to make the that respective pin low to glow or to on the particular segment and in case of common cathode here cathode is common that is negative terminal or ground is connected of all the segments that is seven segments as well as one seven segments sorry a to g connected to the ground and for turn on each an individual segment we have to make high or one to the respective terminal which is connected to the controllers i o pin so and this these these are the two methods to glow the each segments from seven segment display so according to that we have we have to prepared a one table of uh, hex values which will be applied for a particular digit here the digit may be displayed from 0 1 2 3 up to 9 and uh, uh, decimal point is also available with each an individual seven segment digit or a component so in that case we have to initially decide which method we want to adopt that is for common anode or common cathode according to that we have to make connections for a particular digit and the second terminal of that each an individual segment that is leds are connected to the controllers io pin so that we are able to glow the particular led so we see two diagrams first indicates that the common cathode in common cathode the negative terminals of each and in uh, each and every led segment is connected to the ground commonly so here from a b c d e f g so these seven segments if we want to glow the led of individual segment in that case we should have to apply five volt to each and individual segment that is for a 5 volt c 5 volt d 5 volt f 5 volt like that and if we go or prefer for second method that is common cathode in that case vcc is commonly applied that is to the cathode terminals of seven leds of the digit and for glowing or turn on each and individual segment here we should make that particular segment that is a b c d connected to the ground so these open terminals are connected to the controllers io pins so based on that we should make this individual or required led terminal connected to the ground so by making them low or zero we are able to glowing that each and individual led so these are the two methods either common anode or common cathode we should prefer so uh, we see the table through which we can generate hex values for each and 
uh, individual digit that is from 0 to 9 for both methods common anode as well as common cathode. So the hex values are calculated based on two methods common anode and common cathode. So first we see the common cathode. Okay, so the digits are in case of common cathode we have to apply a logic high or 5 hold to the individual segment that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G and last one is decimal point. Here we are starting from LSB2 like that if we are talking about the registers contains D0 to D7 right starts from right hand side towards the left hand side D0, D1, D2. So here also we started from A at the right most uh, corner and decimal point is at the left most corner. So numbers are indicated uh, mentioned in first column that is 0, 1, 2, 3. So for making 0 here we need to make the vertical segment uh, middle vertical segment 0 and decimal point also 0. So here on remaining segments that is LEDs need to connect it to the 5 volts. So here we are making each and individual segment A, B, C, 1, 1, 1. So according to that 8 digits are mentioned or 8 binary values are mentioned like 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So according to that here hex value generated is 0x, 3f, 3 and f. So here lower nipple generates f and higher nipple generates 3. So 3f. So like uh, this all the values for 1, 2, 3 and 9 we are generating. So for according to that here hex values are generated in this column hex values are generated so this is the for common cathode method if we are using common anode method in that case here we need not to apply the 5 volt for individual segment here 5 volt is already applied for the digit so we have to apply a 0 volt that is ground signal to the individual segment that is a b c d so that we are able to glow the LED to complete the circuit of individual LED. So here LED glowing means for that respective segments LED we should make a closed loop format that is VCC and ground both are connected or applied in forward manner so that it will glow. So in case of common anode already 5 volt is commonly applied. So here we need to apply 0 volt for respective or individual segments that is individual segments in the terms of that is each segment contains one LED. So here just we consider the example of 0. So here for uh, detecting 0 or mentioning 0 on a 7 segment display here we should make all the segments 0 0 0 except middle uh, horizontal segment and decimal point segment. So uh, rest of the segments are connected to ground and only two are connected to the VCC which are already connected. So we should make 0, 0 to A to A, B, C, D, E, F these uh, segments connected to 0. So according to that here the hex value generated is uh, higher nibble is C and lower nibble is 0. So 0 X C 0 like this uh, all the values are calculated for 1, 2, 3 and up to the 9. So these values initially we take in one uh, array so that we are able to access each and individual uh, value to the microcontrollers programming. Here we are discussing about interfacing of 7 segment digit with peak 16F microcontroller and we are uh, going for interfacing this 7 segment dis digit with peak by incremental uh, method that is counts increments from 0, 1, 2, 3 with some specified delay or a delay as per your choice or requirement we are able to apply. So here I drawn or to take a snapshot from the Proteus simulation. Here the 7 segment digit is connected to the peak 16 of 877 microcontroller and in this case here port B is used and in in that case all the digits are connected to the uh, controllers IO port and one 
uh, VCC is also connected to the seven segment digit that is decimal point. So we go for the programming here. No need to connect all uh, rest of the pin configuration like crystals, oscillator as we are going for the simulation purpose only. So here uh, C code for that. So after uh, moving to with the help of EMP lab selecting the uh, C, C compiler that is high tech C compiler with um, new project and adding the source file header file with the uh, simulation and then we move towards the actual programming here pic.h is our header file for pic here we use delay function and main function so initially we declare the delay function with uh, declaration that is integer value and after that we go for wide main in main function here the value which are generated in common anode or common cathode as per our selection we take one uh, character format that is segment so instead of writing complete for SEG 10 values are there 0 to 9 so here we are giving the values for 0 1 2 3 in sequential manner up to the 9 and to take the values here we assign one variable that is i which is declared as an integer and if we use a port we can use any port port a sorry a port b c and d so out of these three that is uh, each port that is b c d port carries eight pins so it is easy to interface seven segment with these ports so for port a and port e it is not feasible or possible individually to interface a seven segment display with at that particular port only if we are adding some pins from other ports then it is possible but generally we prefer for port b c or d so if we want to display the count continuously in that case we are writing the values in or write our operation in while one and in that case the variable which is declared i integer variable is continuously incrementing till it reaches to the maximum number that is 10 so for uh, first for loop either we go with starting from 1 or 0 if we are starting from 0 then your uh, comparative value of i is less than 10 that is 0 to 9 that is actual 10 values it will increment it otherwise if we are starting with 1 then it should be uh, plus 1 that is uh, less than 11 or less than equal to 10 anyway we can uh, define with the help of for loop so whatever the value is there for segment that is segment i it will be automatically reflected towards port d and port d consists of interfacing of seven segment digits so according to that our seven segments individual leds are turn on or turn off with some delay that is delay is mentioned here 100 milliseconds so based on that or uh, 100 microseconds sorry uh, based on that you may vary your delay so delay function is also mentioned here it's an integer of two variables x and y and two for loops here count is your nothing but your number actually here earlier we mentioned 100 so count initialized to the 100 and for that purpose in declared so as per your crystal frequency you may select a delay or generate delay if we are using a 4 megahertz crystal oscillator in that case for individual delay function that is for for one loop only so it will be generates or able to generate the count of one microsecond if we are selecting the four megahertz crystal so according to that if we are using 1000 in that case one millisecond count is generated and for that one millisecond again second for loop is used that is count again in that case here we are using 100 so one millisecond it repeats to the 100 times so it will generate and delay of 100 milliseconds so this is related to the delay and here the values are assigned to the port 
individually so as per a uh, incremental manner so values are incrementing starts incrementing from 0 1 2 3 and it will be continuously uh, working as we are mentioning while one so it will works continuously so this is the seven segment display after that we are moving towards the interfacing of DC motor with PIC 16F 877A microcontroller so while interfacing DC motor with PIC microcontrollers here uh, we should take care of the current required to access or to uh, drive the DC motor is more as compared to the current delivered by the PIC microcontrollers here current delivery capacity of PIC microcontroller is maximum 25 milliampere at the 5 volt supply so current delivery is nothing but here we uh, in digital circuits or digital ICs we consider the sourcing current and sinking current in case of uh, sinking current we see with the first sinking current the current which is uh, able to access or captured at the port pin that is input pin which is called, which is called as current sinking that is I sink by the controller and I source that is current sourcing capacity of the peak is based on the how much current a particular controller or controller's port pin able to generate as output for driving some devices or components. So here the maximum uh, current uh, sourcing capacity of the peak is 25 milliampere which is not sufficient for the driving of DC motor suppose we are driving the DC motor of 6 volt or 12 volt DC motor so in that case um, here the DC motor requires um, around 50 milliampere current to drive the motor and here the torque uh, calculations are different for different motors so again uh, current requirement is increases so better to use some additional circuit to drive the motor if we are not uh, using additional circuit in that case it may damages the controllers pins while accessing the or uh, interfacing the DC motor with peak microcontroller so here we are using um, a motor driver circuit that is L293D which is able to drive the two motors and here uh, the pin configuration uh, for that it is mentioned along with that it will able to supply more the current more than 500 milliampere with the variation in supply voltage of 4.5 volt to 36 volts so here the pin configuration it is a 16 pin uh, DIP package IC which carries two supply connections at 8 and 16 pin and uh, two two that is four ground connections first combination first pair of ground is 4 and 5 second pair of ground is 12 and 13 so here six pins are associated with supply and ground two for supply and four for ground supply connections are 8 16 and ground connections are 4 5 12 and 13 to access the individual uh, circuit here we are able to drive the two motors so here first uh, enable combination for uh, input and output is uh, at pin number 1 enable 1 and 2 and at pin number 9 enable 3 and 4 so the rest combination where we connect the inputs from the controller are first combination is at pin number 2 that is input 1 so according to that output is generated at pin number 3 with the boosted uh, version of current that is current amplification is done and additional current is provided at pin number 3 so pair is input 1 output 1 at pin number 2 and 3 second input 2 and output 2 that is 7 6 so this will carries or drive a one motor and second motor is connected similarly to the input 3 at 10 and output 3 at 11 and next part is input 4 at 15 and output 4 at 14 so this is the pin configuration of motor driver IC L293D then here next versions are also available L2938 like that so as per our requirement we have to select this so here the input 1 input 2 which carries the port pins any port pins we may select so according to that we are 
connect in our circuit diagram enable to directly give, giving to the 5 volt that is setting the enable and after that port pin whatever button or switch is connected for changing the direction of the motors that is forward or reverse or clockwise anti-clockwise here one table is associated that is if we are connecting rv0 pin and rv2 pin in that case motor status will be if both pins are low low or high high motor will remains off or stop in stop condition if um, first pin that is 0 1 is there in that case motor will uh, run in anti-clockwise direction and if it is 1 0 motor will run in clockwise direction so for same state of the both pins it will remains turn off for 0 1 it will anti-clockwise and 1 0 it will rotates in clockwise direction so we move for the circuit diagram circuit diagram is here the peak microcontroller and here the motor so in between that driver circuit is connected input 1 2 enable pin and here output 1 output 2 is connected okay and here second combination is for second motor so here we are using only one motor so we go further that is here our c program here peak dot h is your header file so individual pins are defined with the help of two um, bit that is io pin that is rb0 rb1 as we mentioned and switch is connected at rb2 so first three pins from port b are used out of that two pins all the pins rb0 rb1 and rb2 are used individually for input 1 input 2 and switch by changing the direction of motor here we need to define the status of the particular port pins so here we mention like this and up after that here we are using or checking the condition of switch if it is 1 or if it is 0 so for if switch is uh, give us the output 1 in that case we drive the motor else if switch is 0 then we stop the motor this is the first and basic condition so here in while 1 we mention checking the condition switch is equal to equal to 1 in that case input 1 that is in 1 1 in 2 0 so motor will run in clockwise direction if we want to change the direction by making uh, or if you want to anti-clockwise in that case by you are able uh, to free the make in1 is equal to 0 and in2 is equal to 1 so it will rotate in anti-clockwise direction and here the else condition that is if switch is not 1 then here we are mentioning 0 0 either you may mention 1 1 so motor will be automatically stop this is the first case but the second case the is also possible in first condition you may drive your motor in clockwise direction otherwise in else condition you drive your motor in anti-clockwise direction so here simply make uh, 0 1 so your motor will rotate either in clockwise or in anti-clockwise direction but here in this method or in this uh, condition motor will not stop at any condition any situation so if you want to stop the motor you may uh, write the stop condition that is both uh, in1 in2 0 0 or 1 1 in else otherwise if you want to drive the motor in both the directions if condition is satisfied in, in clockwise direction then write in uh, if switch 1 is equal to and in that uh, curly braces uh, clockwise condition and else um, condition is anti-clockwise condition so this method is useful for some driving application like where we need rotations in both the directions that is clockwise as well as anti-clockwise some belts or conveyor belts where we want to shift the contents components um, uh, inserted on that belt either in forward direction or up up in reverse direction like that in, in that case we use both conditions okay so this is regarding the interfacing of DC motor with the peak microcontroller and um, next part we will discuss about the interfacing of seven segment display and keypad with the peak 16f microcontroller so uh, thank you for listening and watching thank you